Hollies, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'll be doing a super glam New Year's Eve look for you guys before the end of the year. I know I've been lacking on makeup tutorials and I've been lacking on the fact that I don't do any full face makeup tutorials. So I was really, really excited to film this tutorial today because I bought a ton of new products and I was super stoked to try them out because you know Boxing Day just happened if you're in Canada, you know what that is. And um, it's kind of like Black Friday for those of you who don't know what that is and I went crazy shopping so maybe I should do a haul for my next video but um yeah so I'm very excited it's super glittery it's very glam um, and it's kind of heavily contoured he well, kind of it's 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 heavily it's heavy on the skin but I love it it's gonna totally stay put on New Year's Eve and um, hope you guys like it if you do subscribe share like as per usual and um, if you guys are wondering I am wearing my Bellamy hair extensions today it's been a long time but I finally managed to get a curling iron for Christmas from my best friend and it's uh, it's working pretty well I really like it and also if you're wondering where I got my cute absolutely adorable necklace from it is from Silver and Strand I will leave their link in the description box below so go ahead and give them a look-see they have really really cute designs and very very simple necklaces which I love because sometimes heavy necklaces are like, like kind of just want to fall over so this is really really doable for me and if you guys like it um, yeah, so just give them a look down below and of course I will be leaving my social media links in the description box below Feel free to follow and uh, kind of communicate with me there I am totally open to talking to people on my Instagram whenever I can and uh, of course leave comments down below I would like to know how you guys like this look and um, if I've done better than before than my last year's New Year's uh, makeup tutorial so uh, yeah Give it a thumbs up if you guys like it and I will hopefully see you guys very very soon. Bye! <laughs> Alright guys, let's get started. So first I'm just going to pull back any hair from my face and clip it away. And then I'm going to use my lip balm all over my lips so by the time we get to it, it'll be completely moisturized. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and I'm going to place that all over my eyelids. This will help ensure that the pigments stay on longer and that they are more vibrant than what they usually are without the eyeshadow primer. Next I'm going to grab my Neutral Eyes Palette by Too Faced and I'm going to grab the color Cashmere Bunny. It's just a soft matte brown nude color and I'm going to use it as our first transition shade with a sort of defined fluffy brush. Um, I use this more in the crease because it kind of blends and it kind of defines at the same time. Then I'm going to go into my Bobbi Brown palette and grab this shimmery dark brown shade. And with that same brush, I'm just going to put it right on top of the transition shade. It's just going to add some more definition because when working with a smoky eye, you want to build and blend. that same Bobbi Brown palette, I'm going to grab a shimmery sort of dark plum color and with a crease brush, I'm placing it right on my crease and it's not going to go anywhere else. So as you can see, as it's, it's intensely defining my crease and I want it to stay there. Like I'm not blending it lower or upwards, I'm just keeping it in that crease area. Um, this is really going to add a lot of depth and definition and as you can also see, I'm blending and I'm adding and building the more that I want on top of my eyelids and I'm also sort of creating this V shape at the very end and it's going to be cleaned up before I do any sort of foundation but it's just a good way to start a base for your um, smoky eye. And then at the very end when there's not enough a lot of product on the brush I'm just sort of winging it out almost and blending it out at the very ends to make it very very soft and not super harsh. I'm going to go in with the color Heaven, it's just that cream white color and I'm going to use it as the base for our eyelids um, so when we place our shimmers and glitters it'll definitely show up. <laughs> Now 
Now to get the pigments and glitters to stick really well, if you don't have any sort of actual product for it, I like to use eye drops and I'm going to take this champagne shimmer color from my Bobbi Brown Nectar Nudes palette and I'm going to dip the brush into the eye drop and then pat the pigment onto my eyelids that way. This is a quick, easy technique if you don't have any sort of special products at home to do this. I like to just use eye drops because I find it so unnecessary to buy products like these in order to achieve this look. So it works perfectly well and I'm just patting it onto the eyelids not kind of rubbing it. This helps it um, stay on longer and the pigments turn out a lot brighter. So I'm going to use my MAC pigment in Rose. I've never used this before. I got it last year as a gift and I'm finally going to try it out now. And it turned out a lot more pink than I thought it would. So what I did was I took a blending brush and blended it out a bit and then on top of it I mixed in that shimmery champagne color from my Bobbi Brown palette and then it turned out so much nicer than what I was expecting even though on its own this is absolutely beautiful but not for the look I was going for. So just blend it out and then add a shimmery champagne on top of it. I just My goal was to get it really really glittery and really sparkly. To highlight under my brow bone, I'm going with that color Heaven that I used before on the for the base of our eyelids. And I'm just going to clean up the crease kind of area with this. Um, it's a little trick to use if you've gone too far up on your eyelid. You can just take your highlighting color that you'd use under your brow and just kind of bring it down lower. It definitely cleans things up. Now I'm going to move on to foundation, but first I'm just going to clean up any sort of fallout that was on my face with a makeup wipe. Um, this, this is exactly why I didn't do foundation or concealing first because fallout is deadly when you have that done. I'm going to prime my face with my Veil Primer by Hourglass. This primer is known to make any foundation look 10 times better than what it actually is. One pump is usually enough. Um, I actually think half a pump is better for me, but um, just blend that onto your skin and your neck and then we'll move on to foundation. For foundation, I'm going to mix my Maybelline Fit Me in natural beige and my Elizabeth Arden in sun beige. So these two colors are completely different to me but like because I'm slowly fading in tan I have to kind of mix some stuff together but this is the closest I can get to my neck and body color and as you can see the coverage for the Elizabeth Arden is absolutely beautiful. Um, I bought it from Shoppers Drug Mart and I've heard really good things about it. I read online about it and it really does give you a flawless finish for 24 hours. It is absolutely incredible. For concealer, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Full Coverage in the color 5. And again, I got this on Boxing Day. It's amazing. I got a sample from Sephora first and then purchased it after, as you guys should always be doing. And I'm just going to apply this where I need to highlight. So underneath my eyes, the middle of my forehead, my bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and any sort of problem areas that I have, which right now aren't very many. So once I apply that, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend that in and just to give you some insight that this concealer is waterproof it is incredible I keep saying all these products are incredible because I definitely researched about them before I purchased them and it's super super amazing it keeps me dewy glowy like I like and it stays on all day which is really important especially when I go to work because I'm always running around to set that all in place I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to set that all in place. I don't really like baking as much because it really makes my skin look really kind of dry. So with just patting it on lightly and pressing it into the skin works best for me. But if baking works best for you, just keep doing what you're doing. But for me, it just leaves my skin looking super, super dry and flaky.
For bronzer, I've been using the color Nudie in my Natural Eyes palette, and it's just a warm tone, really nice brown shade. I haven't been able to find a decent enough bronzer yet. My Hoola bronzer has been okay, but it really doesn't go with my skin tone now that it's changing and it's lighter. So I'm currently searching for one. If you guys know a really, really good bronzer, please don't be afraid to leave it in the comments below. I would really love your help with that. But for now, this is what I'm using, and I'm just going to bronze um, where my jawline is, underneath my chin, um, my cheekbones, and the temples of my forehead just to warm up the face. To contour my cheekbones a little more, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and with a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones and just contour a little more, make it more defined because I do have a little bit more of a rounder face. So if you don't want to heavily contour and do the whole shingding about contouring, this is an easy way to just define your face um, not super heavily if you uh, prefer to stay a little more natural looking. using my new Becca highlighter in Opal. I am absolutely obsessed with highlighting lately the last year so I'm just gonna take my Eda brush and I know the Eda brush is used for contouring your cheeks but I like to use it more for highlighting because it is so precise and not only that I also don't have like that kind of brush that I would like to use to highlight on my face so this pretty much does the trick. Um, I like to use my brushes universally so I don't have to go and spend a ton of money on more brushes when really I can be using one brush for multiple reasons. So I'm just going to highlight just above my cheekbones and I know this lighting is a little harder to see but it is really a making a big impact on my face. So I know, like there it is, <laughs> I found it! But it is a little harder to see with this kind of natural lighting that's hitting my face. But it's definitely there and so is my contour. <laughs> For blush, I'm just going to go in with my Max Pinch Me as per usual. I use this for every single look that I do because it's the one blush that I absolutely love to use for any look. And I'm just going to dust this on really lightly so I don't overpower the eyes. For the bottom lash line, I'm going in with that dark shimmery brown and the dark shimmery plum color that I had in my Bobbi Brown palette that we used in the crease. And I'm just going to take a Real Techniques brush and apply that to the lower lash line and this is just going to define uh, the lower lash line and kind of connect the colors together. For the last eyeshadow, I'm going to use a dark chocolate brown matte kind of color and with my crease brush, I'm going to make a V shape at the outer corner of my eyelids and I'm also going to put this on the lower lash line. This is just going to finish off that smokiness of the eyes and it's just going to make it look all put together and I also just kind of wanted to add a little bit more since we were going smoky anyways. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black and I'm going to sort of show you how I do this. So I start in the middle and work my way out doing little strokes with the brush that it comes with and then I kind of switch and do the other way. So I just do like little little strokes at a time and sort of line it up at the, like the closest I can get to my lash line. And then what I do is I draw out the wing where I want it to be and then I kind of connect it together by pulling back. So this is a really, really amazing technique that I love and it really evens out the eyeliner. So instead of doing it the other way around, I pull back. And this is what's gonna connect the eyeliner and make it look like one really, really nice line. And it'll just make it look more clean and even.
for mascara, I'm going to go in with a new Revlon Volume Plus Length Magnified Mascara in Blackest Black. Um, this is really new on the market and I actually really, really like it. And I'm going to just do a single coat of mascara on both eyes as well as the lower lash line. And then I'll be applying some falsies, which were, I, I don't even remember guys, I just have this lying around in a pack, so I don't remember what it's called, but it's you can either just get some Ardell Glamour lashes or whatever sort of lashes you want to wear on New Year's and apply those with some adhesive. And again guys, practice makes perfect, as you can see, like I keep adjusting mine, so I'm still in the learning process, but um, they're really fun to wear. For lips, I'm going in with the Buxom Big and Sexy Lipstick in the color Sinful. I got this as a point perk at Sephora and I'm probably going to buy the full size because it is a really great everyday color. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips and then you guys, you're good to go. Alright guys, so that's the finished look. If you guys really like this look, please give it a thumbs up, try it out, let me know how I did and how you like it. I'll leave my social media in the description box below. Please feel free to follow and let me know how I did and have a safe New Year's. Bye guys!